welcome back to my channel easy and inspire in previous videos we have seen different types of registers like serial input serial output serial input parallel output and parallel input serial output in today's session i am going to discuss about parallel input and parallel output shift register okay parallel input parallel output pipo shift register so please pay attention this is the block diagram of parallel input parallel output shift register see i am considering again here four bit shift register to store four bit data four bit data so i am taking four flip flops 1 2 3 4 4 four flip flops and this is input this is output input is given parallelly to each and every flip flop and output is taken from all the flip flops similarly if you want to store three bit data you need to consider three flip flops If you want to store five bit data, you need to consider five flip flops. So the number of bits to be stored is equal to the number of flip flops required. The important point here is the input is parallel. See, my input is parallel to the register and output is also parallel and clock pulse is applied. See here, I am taking B flip flop to implement this register. Four flip flops: first one, second one, third one, fourth one. and inputs are taken parallelly d3 d2 d1 d0 outputs are taken parallelly q3 q2 q1 q0 clock pulse is applied to all the flip flops and this is my clock pulse parallel input parallel output so i am considering d flip flop and initially without any clock pulse the default outputs are Q3, Q2, Q1, Q0 are 0. See, 0, 0, 0, 0. All these are initial outputs. Okay, and D3, D2, D1, D0. These are input pins. Q3, Q2, Q1, Q0 are output pins. I am going to enter four ones. See here, one, 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 like this. this is my input and i am going to get some data here okay this is my parallel input parallel output log diagram okay next we'll see operation so i am going to apply my first clock pulse either positive going or negative going and all these are my initial output values see this black color one Zero, 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 zero. All these are my initial values before applying the clock pulse. And now I am applying one, 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 one as input to this register. So now consider for this register, my input is one. So it is going to produce output one. See why it is going to produce one? Because it is D flip flop. D flip flop is nothing but transparent flip flop. And again for this flip flop. input is 1 it is going to produce output 1 again for this flip flop input is 1 and it is going to produce output 1 for this flip flop input is 1 and it is going to produce output 1 so after first clock pulse i have applied first clock pulse and inputs are applied and these are my outputs after first clock pulse my outputs are 1 1 1 1 1 my inputs are 1 1 1 1 given parallelly outputs are taken parallelly outputs are also 1 1 1 1 so my operation is completed whatever i am going to enter here and i am getting the same value in parallel okay this is the tabular representation of parallel input parallel output shift register see here before applying clock pulse my default outputs are zeros okay after applying my first clock pulse means d3 d2 d1 d0 all the inputs are one one is applied parallelly and my outputs are 1 1 1 1 so inputs are 1 1 1 1 applied parallelly outputs also parallel so input output both are equal so data is stored and shifted see here input is here output input is transferred or shifted see here the data is entered parallelly so parallel input 
output is taken parallel parallel output parallel input parallel output shift register is completed and this is very very important point pipo so parallel input parallel output shift register is very fast when compared to the remaining three types of registers like serial input serial output serial input parallel output and parallel input serial output compared to all the three P pipo is very very fast because only one cycle is enough one clock pulse is enough to get my output so whatever i have given here parallelly i am getting the same parallelly so parallel input parallel output is completed so it requires only one clock pulse to shift the data so this is very very fast when compared to the remaining three types of shift register now see the summary of all the shift registers first point is shift register is nothing but a memory device to store more than one bit data that is my first point and second point is in all the above shift registers i consider d flip flop so in a simple shift register we use d type of flip flops and one flip flop is used for one bit storage okay next point the output from each flip flop is connected to the d input so see here output of one flip flop is connected to input of next flip flop that is what i have mentioned here third point and shift registers use it to hold the data they used to hold the data and they'll transfer the data they'll shift the data and we can transfer the data from left to right as well as right to left data bits can be loaded in two formats one is serial input format and parallel input format similarly data is taken so output is taken in two formats that is serial output parallel output so based on these parameters we are dividing serial input parallel output siso piso and pipo all these type of registers and there is one more register that is nothing but universal shift register see here universal shift register that is nothing but this shift register is having all the functions of these four all the functions of these four that is nothing but combined functions so universal shift register is having all the functions of these four shift registers in a single device okay here i have mentioned applications the main purpose of registers or shift registers is to store the data and to shift the data okay and we can commonly use these type of registers in calculators computers to store the data in next classes i am going to explain about counters thank you